how to crochet the primrose motif. For this stitch, you will need a crochet hook. Special thanks to our sponsor, Scassell, for providing today's hooks. Today, we are using their Addy Swing Ergonomic Crochet Hooks in size US7 and two balls of yarn in different colors. Special thanks to our sponsor, Lion Brand, for providing today's yarn who are introducing their Bon Bon line, a collection of mini skeins of yarn that are perfect for your everyday craft needs and different types of color work. Today we are using their Celebrate colorway. For this stitch, you'll need to know the following techniques. Chain stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet. To begin this stitch, you must create a ring of four stitches. So we'll chain four and then we're going to do a slip stitch into the first chain and join it with the last one. So we've got a little itty bitty ring. Round one. We're going to begin with our color A and we're going to chain four. So this is going to act as a double crochet and a chain one. So we've got three and there's four. Okay, then we're going to start our repeat by doing a double crochet into the middle of our ring. And I'm, I'm carrying this tail around the edge and we're going to work it into the pattern. So we're doing double crochet and then we're going to chain one to finish our repeat. So we're just going to keep doing the double crochet and chain one another six times so we'll have a total of eight little spokes all the way around. Okay so to finish this row we're going to do a slip stitch into the third chain from our fourth chain that we made at the beginning of the row. Now for round two we're going to join our color B so we're going to loop it over our hook and we're going to pull it through the loop that's on our hook currently and then we're going to tighten that loop down really really tight almost as if it's completely gone okay and then we're just going to act as if our new loop is replacing that loop that we just made so now we'll start our round by chaining two and this is going to act as a half double crochet which is going to be the beginning of our pedal pattern that we're going to be putting into this chain space right here. So the next thing we're going to do is a double crochet and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our working yarns here or our tails that we've cut. I've cut our working yarn from the previous color and we're going to work them along the edge of this round and we're going to work them into the pattern so we don't have to weave them in later just like we did with the uh, tail from the beginning okay so we're going to insert our hook into the chain space here and then we're going to make sure that those are wrapped over the tails we'll grab our working yarn and we're just going to tighten everything down a little bit and then we'll work our double crochet Okay, so now we're going to do a triple crochet, so we'll yarn over twice, insert our hook, grab the yarn, pull through, then we work in twos. So work two, two more, and one more set of two. Okay, then we're going to do another double crochet, so we're doing kind of a ladder here. So we do a half double crochet, double crochet, triple crochet, then another double crochet, and we'll finish with a half double crochet. All right, so now you can see we've got this little petal here we've made with this little arch. And this is actually our yarn from the center of the round. And you can see that our tails have been worked into the pattern here. So uh, at this point, uh, probably going to work another petal with the yarn in, and then we'll just cut those uh, and they'll disappear into the pattern. So we're going to work another petal into the next chain space we're going to start with a half double crochet then we'll do a double crochet then a triple cr 
crochet then another double crochet so we're coming down the other side of the petal and then a half double crochet and we're going to repeat this petal sequence all the way around until we get to the end of the round. Actually, that's a half double crochet. So we'll pull through there, pull that tight. Okay, so we've got two petals. We're gonna have a total of eight petals once we get into all of these spaces, and then I'll show you how to finish off the round. All right, so to finish off this round, we're going to do a slip stitch into the second chain from that first two chain that we did at the beginning of the round. Round three. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to chain one. Then we're going to start our repeat by doing two single crochets into the next uh, stitch. And we're going to do that four times. So that's two. Three. and four. Then we're going to do a slip stitch into the next stitch and that will finish our repeat. So we're just going to repeat the two single crochets four times and then slip stitch all the way to the end of the round. So to finish off this round we're just going to do a slip stitch into that first chain from the beginning of our round. We'll fasten off and weave in our ends and that gives us our primrose motif. It's great for uh, just a little embellishment on a hat or a sweater. You can even just attach a pin to the end of it and use it as a brooch if you want. Um, but it's really quick and simple and, and very, very cute. So that's how you crochet the primrose motif. After a few repeats, your pattern should look like this. Want more New Stitch Day? Check out our website at newstitchaday.com.